All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. All right, here we are in the QBO Gym. And the QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every single month we come out with new exercises for you to practice and complete and we break it down for you into four different sections. Today we're gonna to be working in the February year one warm-ups section. At the top here is an animated video to give you a synopsis of what you are going to be doing for Craig this month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive pre-assessment quiz. Below that are all of the exercises within this section. And at the bottom here is an optional area where after you have done all of the exercises in this section, we have some sample posts that you can use on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's dive right into today's exercise where we're going to practice processing the money that came in this month, specifically receiving payments. Go ahead and click on that link right there to have the exercise pulled up for you. I have it over here on the right hand side, so let's see our scenario. Craig received three checks since you last visited. You will need to apply them to their outstanding invoices. To uh, grab a uh, copy of all of these checks, you need to click on the link beneath the warm-ups video to grab a copy and we'll use them for this exercise. So let's go ahead and do that right now. At the top here in the uh, QBO gym is that animated video and you see this button here that says checks. Go ahead and click on that to download the checks. I have it up here specifically. This is what it will look like once you have downloaded it and open it up. You will need to be in the same session of the sample company that you did the previous exercises in. If you have not completed those exercises yet, please click on the link on the top right corner of your screen. That'll take you to that first exercise, complete that one, and then the one after that, and then come back to this one. So let's get started with our exercise. The first thing we will need to do is, well, we will look at the one for Freeman Sporting Goods who sent check number 4023 for a total of $85. So here I am in the sample company. This is the dashboard. We want to first click on the plus new button and then click on receive payment. This is the workflow that we use when we are, um, when we've received checks and we need to account for it. So click on the plus new button up here on the top left corner under customers, click on receive payment. All right, so this is going to be for Freeman Sporting Goods. So go ahead and click in this customer field. You can click the down arrow and scroll or type their name in there. But you will see here for Freeman Sporting Goods, there are actually three different customers, two or sub customers of the one, um, the Freeman Sporting Goods. So how do we know which location the payment is from? Let's go ahead and click on this one, the Freeman Sporting Goods to see what happens. Once you click on that, you will notice that you get an error message. And that is because there are no open invoices for the parent company. So we need to go ahead and investigate this and do this a little bit of a different way. We're going to click on the X to close up here on the top right corner. You will get a little pop-up asking if you wanna leave without saving and the answer is yes. So go ahead and click on the yes. Now again, we're going to look at this a different way. So to do that from the left navigation bar, we're going to hover over sales and then select customers. That is um, over here on the left hand side is that left navigation bar. Here is sales and then hover over that and then from the drop down, select customers. We want to look for Freeman Sporting Goods, so let's scroll down on the customer list until you find them. Once you do, go ahead and click anywhere on that line to open up their customer profile. Now you may need to click out of some pop-ups that come up. Um, this is QBO just trying to give you some extra information, um, but go ahead and click out of those on, on the X's of those because we are not going to be using them. 
Um, now here you will see the resulting transaction list displays all the transactions for Freeman Sporting Goods, including the two sub companies or locations. So we're going to narrow this down by just open invoices. Um, I have this bar over here. I'm going to uh, minimize it by clicking on the three lines in the arrow. Feel free to do the same. My screen is just shortened because I have the exercise over here. So just to give me a little bit more um, space to actually see, I wanted to collapse that feel free to do that or you can leave it as is. Once again, here are all of those transactions and you can see it indicates which particular location each one is for. Let's narrow this down to just the open ones. So in the status field, we want to click the down arrow and then select open. That uh, status field is right here. So click into that box and then we want to select open so that we are only seeing um, invoices that are currently open and that results in just three right here. Here. You'll notice that there are two that are showing as overdue. You can see that here in the status column. And when you look a little bit closer, the first one is for $54, but it was already partially paid for because there's only a $4 balance. The second one here is for $81. So when you combine the open balance of $4 plus the $81 here, it equals 85, which is the amount of the check. So we can assume that they are uh, using this check to cover both um, open balances for these to uh, invoices. So we want to go ahead and start receiving payment now that we know what's going on. Um, for the one where it says the $4 balance is due, we're going to click on receive payment right here. And once you do, the receive payment transaction is going to show up. Now, because we clicked on receive payment from that previous screen, QBO is automatically going to check this invoice for the $4 balance and fill it in here in that payment field. We need to also select this other invoice for $81 so that the total will end up being 85. So let's go ahead and click on that checkbox for the one for $81. And you will see the um, total here is showing as 85. Everything is looking good, so we are going to leave this as is. Um, we want to simply uh, uh, fill in a couple more things in this um, payment method field. We want to go ahead and select check. So click on that down arrow, select check. The reference number field is the check number. So that would be 4023. So let's go ahead in here and type that in. Now you'll note that the deposit to field is showing as undeposited funds. Now, since we are just marking these invoices as paid, we are going to deposit the checks later. So we want to leave this um, deposit to going to undeposited funds, which is that holding account that we mark um, when before the check or cash actually makes its way into the bank uh, physically. So this is what we want to leave it as. Um, this is all good to go. So we are done with receiving payment for this one. Um, since we have more checks to deposit, we're going to go ahead and click on the save a new option. That is down here on the bottom right part of the screen. Click on save a new. That uh, receive payment for the, the Freeman check has been saved and now we have a new transaction up for us. So now let's go ahead and process the check from John Melton for $450. We can see that one right here. So in the customer field, we wanna go ahead and select John. So from the dropdown, you can click on the arrow and scroll down to John's name, or you can start typing it in the box. Either way is fine. Once you find his name, go ahead and click on it. And when you do, you will see that there is this one, um, bal or one outstanding invoice with an open balance of $450 remaining. So we wanna go ahead and click on the checkbox next to this invoice. The payment field is going to automatically fill in what is the open balance. And since the check was for $450, this is perfectly fine. We're going to leave this as is, it's looking good. Now we just need to do the payment method field, which is a check. So click on that down arrow, go ahead and select check. In the reference number field of, uh, yeah, reference number field, we need to put the check number. So we can see that it is 2397. 
So let's go into this reference number box. Go ahead and type 2397. Once again, this deposit to field is showing us undeposited funds, which is what we want to leave this as is for right now. We're just marking these invoices as paid. The uh, checks have not physically made their way to the bank. So leave that as is. We are all good with this particular one for John. And now we have just one more to do. So let's click on save and new. You're going to click on the down arrow right here at the bottom of the right hand screen. Um, once you click on that arrow, go ahead and click on save and new. And now that one for John has been saved as well. Finally, let's process the $150 check from Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Once again, in that customer field, we need to select Amy's name. So click the down arrow in the customer field. You will see she is right there at the top. Go ahead and select her name. Now notice that there is just one invoice that is outstanding that is right here. The original invoice amount is for $459 and the current balance is $239. So let's take a little bit of a closer look and see what happened here. Let's go ahead and click on the invoice uh, 1021 to see uh, what that looks like. You're going to get this little pop up that asks if you want to leave without saving. The answer is yes. So go ahead and click on the green yes right there. Now notice that there has been one more, there has already been a payment made on this invoice so far. You can see that right here. It says one payment made $220. You can click on that to get more information. You can see the date that it was made um, and then the amount that was applied. So now that we know what happened here, we can go ahead and proceed with receiving payment with the check that Amy had sent for $150. So let's go into uh, clicking on receive payment once again. We're going to go back to that screen that we were in before. And you'll note that when we go to here, uh, QBO is automatically assuming that we are receiving payment for the entire open balance of the invoice. But as you can see, Amy's check is only for $150. So we need to make the adjustment here. On the, um, in the amount received, or you can do it in the payment field, either one is fine. You wanna delete that 239 and put 150 instead. You can tab or click out of it and you can see that it has now been updated by QBO. Let's make sure we put in the payment method, which is a check. So click on that down arrow in the payment method field, select check. The reference number field is 1059. So click into that 1059 is the check number right here. It has a zero in front, but you don't have to worry about that. 1059 is totally fine. And once again, we're keeping it as undeposited funds until it physically makes its way to the bank. So this is the last payment that we needed to receive. So now we can simply just save and close this one. Click on the down arrow right here, and then you want to go ahead and click on save and close. And once you do, you will see that now that payment has been saved as well. And that is what you would do, the process that you would follow the workflow for receiving payments. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO gym, just click on the link below in the description. Be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it for the next exercise in the warm-up section where we practice adding expenses. And I will see you in the